is our headlines for pioneering news and headlines these are generally the you know kind of headlineish uh, you know news newsish stories i don't generally put like more some some things i put in here for the lulls some things i put in here for the ponders but these are generally more straight news but not necessarily all the time so this first story Women's land shelled by the Turks. This women's only village was built to be a feminist utopia. Now it's under threat. This is from L.com. And this is an excerpt from the article. In the Kurdish region of northeast Syria, a female-only ecological commune has sprung up as a place for women displaced by the Syrian revolution and the rise of the Islamic State. The cooperative is called Jinwar, Kurdish for women's land, hence, hence my title that I wrote. And it's home to more than 30 women, many of whom were widowed in the fight against ISIS and their children. In Jinwar, there is no central power figure. Instead, there is a democratically elected town council. This is called a direct democracy is, is what they participate in. And every month, a different council member acts as the town's leader. Men are allowed to visit only during specific hours, uh, like when they need a tire change. I'm just kidding. They could probably make the tire. Like, not, not only could they, could they change the tire, these women will, will probably be able to go out into the wilderness, find some raw materials, and come back with a freaking tire. Like a kick-butt, totally awesome tire. Yeah, these women are self-sustaining. Yeah, they don't need they don't need no men's to change no tires. And they're not allowed to stay overnight. Women of different religions and ethnicities live together in mud brick homes they built themselves. See what I see what I say? See what I say, okay? Eat food they grow themselves and teach each other English. They are self-sustaining, my folks. This is what I've talked about on the show all the time. There is a bakery and a store where the women can sell handicrafts they make to people from other villages. Having survived the rule of violent jihadists, the residents of Jinwar are attempting to build their own female utopia. Well, this is they would not refer to this as a utopia, I can guarantee this, because I know a little bit about these folks. These are in this region uh, <clears throat> identified as Rajava, and I gotta say, I, I keep wanting to, okay, well, maybe, you know, they're calling it the Northeast Syrian Alliance something or other. And, but I still see, like, I follow people who call themselves Rajavans. And so, like, I think it's an identity that is kind of stuck. It, I think it just literally means North, I believe, in Rajavan, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. I, I mean, not in, in, in Kurdish, if I'm not mistaken. But it's become an identity, or Java. I mean, I I'm, I'm I feel a part of it in in a weird way, but uh, but hardly not not in the way these folks are. These folks are literally uh, molding the the lives that they want to live out of the mud. Like that's where it's at. I'd love to do that someday. Literally, I mean, I w I actually want to build Adobe brick on uh, Adobe brick homes, and well, I got I got dreams, man. I have dreams. It's a dream, okay? It's a wild feminist experiment in democratic communal living that's happening in one of the most socially conservative regions in the world, and for nearly two years, it seemed like it might actually work, but with Turkey's ongoing military offensive against the Syrian Kurds, whom Turkey considers terrorists, the village has been under constant threat, and on Monday. It was temporarily evacuated following heavy shelling. Yeah, the Rajavans, they have, and I'm sure, I'm sure you'll find that they're part of of the of the confederation. They call themselves a confederal democracy, is what it's called, and they have cantons. And then I don't I don't know what their RF how they're related. To, are they within a can? I don't know any of that. There's 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 flexibilities. It's a they, I, I guess you would say that uh, their type of governance uh, lies somewhere between, I, I'll, I'll say anarchist, but I know most of you, if you, if you might think the word anarchist means like chaos or you just think of Antifa or some other extreme thing, but there's a whole world out there of uh, various schools of anarchism. But, but this is... May, may, they would they would consider it anti-state or or yeah non-state non-state or anti-state. I wouldn't necessarily think they would necessarily use the word anarchist, but uh, 
they kind of they're swimming in like Murray Murray uh, Bookchin and uh, Abdullah Al Salon are their two main uh, sources for a lot of what they're doing, and uh, it's 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 called it, variously it's been called municipalism, and so and it's also called uh, direct democracy here, but. Uh, they've been doing remarkably well with remarkably little. And the only thing that has really kept them from flourishing is the fact that they, this, this, this weird place allowed, it, it, there was, there was a zone that allowed for the temporary existence, I guess, is what it will turn out to be heartbreakingly. Maybe, maybe there's hope, God willing, there's hope, there's a way to preserve this this experiment that's been going on for longer than two years though I mean well maybe this village is only two years old that might be the case but the where Java's been since what maybe two, 20, 000, 2014 something like that it's a it's kind of a in in other parts in most other parts of Rajava they have their own brands of what they would call social justice and how they approach social justice is a lot different than than the path that America seems to us t have taken and I've actually kind of stumbled upon a new word that I'm, I'm going to be using. Instead of referring to SJW, I mean, I think at this point, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I'm just going to say it. I think SJW is a boomer term at this point. I think it's time. I mean, I've been using it right up until today with liberality. I'm one of the biggest abusers of that word. And I got to say, I think I think it's done. I think it's boomered. It's officially boomered, ladies and gentlemen. When the boomer says it's boomered, it's boomered. Frico is a boomer. I own my boomerness, and I'm telling you, it's boomered. And besides, when you say SJW, there's so many, again, <laughs> there's so many groups of people that would identify as SJW that what it really comes down to is I'm referring to them as social authoritarians. So there's, there's SJWs, and then there are plenty of SJWs who have gone down the social authoritarian past. Just like there are what well, I would refer to people on the right that are remarkably similar in how they treat communities and how they shut people down and they do very what you would think of SJW things. things. And I'm not the only one. This isn't my thing, actually. I, I, uh, I didn't get this. I, I saw it from long ago in anarchist circles and then it went mainstream and we refer to them as CJWs, culture justice warriors. And the CJWs, I think that, that, that most of them actually, they're pretty varied as well. And they're, some of them are much more sophisticated than people think. They're not all idiots. They, they're very, they have very nuanced thoughts and, and understandings. Uh, it's not as black and white as you imagine, but but there are, are plenty of them, and they happen to be the ones that always get the biggest microphones, just like what happens with the SJWs. They're the ones they suck all the energy and all the resources out of the room. And those are, I'm going to refer to them as cultural author, culture authoritarians. These are the ones that, you know, they demand, uh, we're going to re, we're going to get rid of gay marriage. We're going to end that. We're going to. We're going to start passing laws that uh, don't allow you to get abortion, like, at all. Like, shut it down. Declare abortion murder. And if anybody even thinks about abortion, we stone them. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, they've got their, they've got their own pit bulls. <clears throat> and, uh, so, these people, these, these non-state folks are, are living in the midst of, uh, of, uh, of all of this well, massive authoritarianism, I'll just say. And their version of SJW is uh, very consensual. And it's not, it's, it, it took, it took, it, 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 at least it seems to have taken a very different light. Like, for instance, they have many of them. I don't know, they're not, m m I don't know how many of the communities are like this, but I think most of them are. They have, they have, policing patrols and and certainly they need to have policing patrols in their their policing looking for you know looking for actual you know possible you know deadly things not not from the community but their patrols when they go out it's a male and a female the patrols have to be members of the community and they can only serve for certain times there's there's that's another common thing like you saw with the ladies there it's uh 
you can only serve certain times and now uh, you might serve again but it'll be in rotation but there's there's no one that gets fixated in that position I mean I you know yeah anyway I love what they're doing I, I love this village this this is feminism by the way this is what feminism looks like when it's not authoritarian this is non-authoritarian feminism in the mi in the and these are women now these women I mean American feminist women you should be shamed by these women USJW is over here. You should be shamed. These women are, are loving, consensual women, uh, peacefully engaging in in their particular uh, discipline in life. And 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 for for many, SJW is a discipline. Like for me, my my Christian faith. I'm not saying SJW is a religion. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying it 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 offers. There are similar parallels in that they they both offer. I guess moral paradigms for us moral moral rails in our life i guess i'll say <clears throat> and th and that can be healthy when it's consensual uh and it's uh i'll say non-authoritarian in nature non-absolute in nature uh but it can be dangerous and uh possibly genocidal often genocidal it, no matter what is what originates it uh often genocidal when uh when it turns into absolute and certain and uh, and the message becomes increasingly mystical, increasingly moralistically shrill. Sound familiar, by the way? 